Look, will you do me a favor? If you're gonna prowl, stomp. I can sleep through noise, but the powder of bare feet wakes me up every time. You know something? You don't have to go to Athens to see ruins. Athens? I didn't feel so good. Mrs. Wood said I better come home. What's the name of that guy that comes into the place all the time? He wears those thick glasses. You know, the guy who's always asking me to play uh, down by the old mill stream. Doc, Doc. We're out of coffee. I left a note so you'd know why I didn't make any this morning. I'll go get some now. Eggs, too. I'll need some money. Lying. Long. Or, um, Harris. Come on, Arnie, help me remember. You know the guy, he always sat by the window all the time and he beats his hand on the table to the music. Well, anyway, I heard Kitty say that he's the best kid doctor in St. Louis. She ought to know. She's got a kid herself. <laughs> what do they call kid doctors? I, it's a special name. Uh, I used to know it. I used to know it. It's a special name. Pediatricians. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Pediatrician. Yeah, you gotta get better just talking to a guy with a title like that, huh? <laughs> I'm okay. I don't need a doctor. Um, Mrs. Brophy came early today, huh? Boy, she sure emptied out the basket fast. I'll get milk, too. I'll need two dollars. Oh, sure, Arnie. What'd you do with my wallet? Well, I put it on the table. I'll just take two dollars. Well, Arnie... Gee, take as much as you want, kid. I mean, go out and buy yourself something. Two's plenty, Dad.
the army. You know you have a beautiful handwriting? They tell you that in school? We're gonna get out of this dump, kid. I got my eye on the place. Arnie? Friend wants a boiler maker. No, 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 thanks. Whiskey with a beer chaser. Never miss, do you, Hannibal? Yes or no? I told you, three o'clock today or I find another boy. Yes or no? I, uh, I only drink after dark. Drink up. Five thousand? I could get Willie for three. That's why you've been playing hard to get. Holding me up till the last minute, eh? Please, Hannibal, don't make me argue, huh? I don't like to argue. People should get along. We come in for three, we get along. Five, we're gonna argue. We're gonna scream at each other for five. But three is no good for me. I need five. It's for Arnie. I know lots of 13-year-old kids. None of them can tell the difference between three grand and five grand. They're both like 10 mil to a kid. You can make them just as happy with a three-z as a five. So long, Hannibal. This isn't the way, Hannibal. Things should go smooth, nice and easy. I don't want any trouble. Let's just forget the whole thing, huh? Go get Willie. I say sure, there's plenty of it for everybody, but why should you be greedy? Muddy. All you gotta do is drive. You just sit there, you wait, and then you drive. 30 minutes work. What's wrong with 100 bucks a minute, huh? Huh? Hey, you see these teeth? See my hair? You know what happens in stir? After a while, your teeth start going bad, your hair starts thinning out. I don't want to go back there, not for $3,000. For five, for Ronnie, okay, I'll take my chances. Willie don't know the streets the way I know the streets. If you get caught in that freeway traffic at the four o'clock spill, the cops are gonna drop you a block after you leave the factory. You got no choice, Hannibal. You gotta knock it over at four o'clock or else there isn't anything to knock over, right?
Hey, Angie. Another round. Bring me one, too. What scares me? He's too polite. I can understand when a man hasn't seen a kid after eight years, he can change. After all, he's only 13. That's eight to five against me, you know? He pretends I'm sick, not drunk. Sometimes when he picks me up off the floor, he says, Come on, Dad, you're tired. Now, why is that, Hannibal, huh? What does it mean? You know what I think it means? I think that he don't care enough about me to tell the truth, to be honest. Not that I blame him. Any day now, if I don't do something, he's gonna walk out that door and never come back. He hasn't been with me that long that I can afford to lose him now. Not just yet, not right now. Well, if you still don't like it here, we could always move into the country and get a little closer to the quarry. I didn't say that. I said living in Gaslight Square was like living inside a drum. I haven't had a good night's sleep since we got here. It's not that I don't like it. It's just I don't know how long I can last. There's so many distractions. Somebody's been tampering with your compass, old buddy. Magnetic north lies that way. Ah, but mine points south. It's a simple case of arithmetic. South three girls, north six girls, right? Right. Well, now, suppose we go south. There are two of us and three of them. Two and three don't mix. That's like oil and water. Somebody has to be an outsider. Result negative, right? But if we go north, there are two of us and six of them. Now, two goes into six three times. That's what you call a nice abundance of riches, and nobody's an outsider. Result positive. So we go north, right? Right. from across the hall this morning with a kid. <clears throat>
after one, he ought to be asleep. Come on, let him go. This time of night, he should be in bed. Why, so he can get up early in the morning and hide those empty whiskey bottles? Excuse me. Go ahead, ride the white horse. Spin yourself a dragon. for five bucks. Fifteen club. For once, honey, let Mike help him. He's tired, that's all. Can't you see how tired he is? Tonight, Mike will take him home. Well, I can do it, thanks. Now don't go away, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> you will say it and I'll play it. <laughs> you say it and I'll play it. <laughs> you say it and I'll play it. Most of the traffic turns east, heads down toward the expressway, right, Muddy? So what do you think is our best route west? Anna, will you like organ music? It gives me the creeps. About six blocks up, we hit Harding Boulevard. Now, from there, we got to get to Appleton before the cops can get their roadblocks up. You want to see the plans? No, I just came out here today because I like to breathe all this carbon monoxide. See, he's got this thing about drums. I gotta get his mind off it. I guess maybe he figures that, uh... Percy would make a better father than me, you know? Or maybe he figures that in hitting the drums, he's hitting me. Anyway, I gotta... I gotta get him to switch. Maybe a pipe organ, huh? See, it's built right in the wall. Like in a theater. And, uh, this landlord says, uh, You wanna put in a pipe organ? Go ahead. That was nice of him, wasn't it? I mean, I know a lot of landlords who wouldn't even let you nail a picture in the plaster. That's something, huh? Now listen to me, buddy. Saturday at 4 o'clock, me and Hackey and Boyd are going to walk through those factory gates. We're going to knock over a 50 grand payroll. Then we're going to walk out and we're going to expect to see some real driving with you at the wheel. I don't know what you're up to here, but I don't think you can cut it. You know, Hannibal, it would be a better world to live in if people smiled all the time. Sky blue, 24 hours a day. The worst thing we could do is to turn west and hit Harding Boulevard. That's what the cops will be thinking we'll do. The best thing to do is hit the freeway and all that traffic. All right, Muddy. You're out. We'll be in. Get me a pickup truck and four motor scooters. We'll carry them in the back of the truck. When you, Hackey, and Boyd come out, 
You get in the truck. We go with the traffic. I take an outside lane. In three minutes, we're on the freeway. Right in the middle of all that traffic, we ditch the truck. We stop everything, cause confusion. We get out of the truck, we pull the motor scooters off, and we go across the parkway. We cut in and out of cars. We go in places where even the cops can't follow us, even with motorcycles, right? Buddy, you're a genius. You're a living, breathing genius. I gotta get back now. I don't want my kid on the streets after school. Sure, Marty. <laughs> sure. Take it out of your mouth first. Maybe you could do better. Why not? In the neighborhood I was raised, the kid's dad was sober one day a week. They ran him for mayor. top symbol for your steady rhythm. Use that bass for the unexpected uh, punctuation. Come on, let me show you. That way you get rid of that sock four you've been using. Come on, move over, will you? syncopation, the use of a main phrase. Listen. Six B 
reach and length. Three against two. Did you hear it? Don't lump the bass so much. Remember, it's the drummer man that puts the fire in the group. And it's the rhythm section that makes jazz. Man, where'd you learn? Well, Friday's was trash can day. I had a whole block full of kettle drums. You're just making that up. You want to see the scars? See, I didn't have a father. I mean, uh, I didn't have anybody to buy me a set of drums like this. Well, I bought those with my own money. It took me forever to save up. Well, like I say, I had trash cans on Friday. I had plant posts seven days a week, iron fences, manhole covers, window screens, and whiskey bottles. I had the whole Philharmonic on my block. Not to mention a few skulls I used to practice on. Where I came from, you learned to be a drummer real quick. Don't mess up that beat. You gotta go already? You just got here. Well, there's a place I want to check on, and I thought if there was a St. Louis branch, I'd drop by this afternoon. You got much homework? Will you keep the top down? Is there any other way to go? It's cut out. <laughs> You want to leave your father a note? I don't want to think about him right now. How'd you do it? I used to hate social workers. They used to treat me like a virus, and then they'd take their nose cones off and ride the, the 644 to Long Island to their homes and worry about the crabgrass growing in the backyard. Is that me? Have I become the social worker? Kids aren't goldfish that you pick out of a tank at some five and ten. Something you throw away because they belly up. You're stuck with them. Once you start with them, you're stuck for good. And afterwards, for every mark you leave on them, they leave ten on you. to me when I was a kid that I'm not going to do to Arnie. Taking me to the kind of place I'm going to take him. I'm going to kill him. Wrap him around a fire hydrant. Where are you going to take him? Mullins in uh, G2. Yeah, come on in. I see you guys around in the club and on the street. I'm washing out some socks. Why don't you come on in? I was coming up the street and I, uh, I seen Arnie with your buddy. Yeah, well, they'll, they'll be right back. You played great piano, Mr. Mullins. I was uh, going to cook up a couple of steaks, but I don't want to put them on until I'm sure he's coming back. Uh, pretty soon now, huh? Yeah, sure. Huh. Nice meeting you. Mr. Mullins. You're a widower, Mrs. Peckinpah said. Yeah. So was my dad. We made out fine.
place. My dad played here for a Polish wedding. Come on. I used to be so ashamed of the way my mother drank. I'd lock myself in my room the minute I came in from school. And I'd wait till my father came in from work. When he'd come in, I'd run to him and plead with him. Daddy, divorce her. She's no good. Divorce her. Take me away. Take me someplace where we can raise our shades and live like normal, happy people. There's a kid I know down there. Come on, let's go say hello, huh? I was so busy feeling sorry for myself and so ashamed of my mother, I just couldn't think straight. But now that I've been coming to this group and I've learned all of us have this same problem, well, I don't feel like a... a freak. I feel that if you have a mother or a father who's an alcoholic, you can help them. I guess it's like they say, misery loves company. But since I've been coming here, I don't feel miserable anymore. I don't feel so... so alone. He picked her up in East St. Louis early this morning. Used car lot that don't open till noon. He says she got lots of juice, but uh, you better check the engine. All night. All night long, Buzz and me, we've been out looking. Boy, he took it real bad. He says, he says it's his fault. You don't think it's his fault, do you, Hannibal? Oh! What? Oh! You don't drink till after dark, remember? I don't know where he got to. Who? What are you talking about? Arnie, my boy Arnie, I don't know where he got to. He finally did it, huh? All right, buddy. Pick the glass out of your pocket here. Don't cut yourself. You got some fancy driving to do today. Here. You gotta favor these famous hands. Come on, Muddy. Pick the glass out of your pocket. Just up and left, huh? First year she brought him up to see me. The third Sunday of every month. Boy, he sure looked different through that chicken wire. And she had a habit of always tying his tie too tight, you know? So I said to him, Arnie, you're gonna choke yourself. Go ahead, kid, unloosen your tie. And he sits there and he just stares at me. Because he never did anything that she didn't want him to do. After a while, it begins to bug me, you know? 
him in that tie and her sitting there staring at me through the chicken wire. So I says to her, listen, do you know what they do to guys in here? They hang them. They tie him around the neck and they hang them. Now will you loosen the tie on that kid? A little thing like that and she stops bringing him. The next month she comes up and no Arnie. And she says to me, listen, Muddy, you know what a father should be to a boy? He should be like a mirror, that's what. A boy should look into the mirror of his father to see what he'll be. What kind of a cracked mirror are you, she says. Somebody ought to scrape the quicksilver off and make a window out of you. That way maybe you won't block the view, she says. And I lose my head, you know, and I try to grab and I want to get through that chicken wire, but I can't. She died that next year. And I never saw her no more. Or the kid. It was passed from one foster home after another. I ask you, Hannibal, is that a life? Check the engine, Muddy. Then we'll see how she looks underneath. Ah, uh, she was right. Diane was right. What kind of a lousy crack mirror am I? I can't even stand to look at myself. How can I expect Arnie to? Well, uh, isn't that just like me, huh? A pipe organ. I was gonna buy him with a pipe organ. And look what I was gonna do to get the money. All I ever wanted was to do the right thing. But trying to do it, it always came out wrong. I don't know why. Because I wanted to do the right thing. Maybe this time, huh? There's no easy way, is there, Hannibal? Go get Willie. I'm not driving. Find my kid. If I have to crawl all over town. You like to drink, don't you? Huh? I'll burn it, buddy. I'll burn it. Come on! Who is that? What did you tell him, Loose Lips? I didn't tell him anything. I just told him where he could find me in case he found out about... He found out about Arnie. I'm down here. Buzz just called in. He thinks maybe he found him. Can't tell for sure. Well, what do you mean he can't tell for sure? Come on, hurry up, will you? When we worked there, he said, that's what I need is a hole in the ground. Well, where is he? Well, I saw him in the garage, and I went after him, but he ducked out, and then I heard him yelling from up there. Well, ask me how he got up there. Hey! You scared him right off! Get in!
drive from the top. There's a rope in the warehouse. Just above an idle, keep a foot on the brake in case those rocks under the wheels. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Where does it say that you're the mountain climber? Whose kid is he, huh? That's my kid. That's my kid. That's my kid down there. Drop you. Thank you. 
executive producer.